Well, it's 10.30 at night. I've got to go pick up a friend. And it's lightning over here. The thing is, I've got to drive about probably 30 miles to pick him up. He's coming out here from California, wanting to move to Kentucky. And I had to go to Lexington earlier, and I come home, and my car was steaming. So I open up the hood, and I've got a radiator hose with a hole in it. And that was like an hour and a half before I have to go get Jimmy. So I packed as much water as I could in the car, as many containers I have. And we're going to watch the temperature gauge and hope we can make it. And I'll have to change that radiator hose in the morning. So here we're going to get Jimmy. It's uh, quarter to 11. Looks like it's going to storm, so who knows, maybe if uh, we don't have enough water, we might be able to collect some if we need to. It's going to be an experience because I've got to drive like 50, 60 miles with a, a hole in a radiator hose. I made sure the water was put, you know, the radiator was full before I left and the reserve tank was full, so if it starts to heat up, I can pull over and it'll suck that, you know, pull over and shut it off and it'll suck that reserve back. So I'm going to take the back roads and so I can drive slow and be easy on the old girl until I can get a new hose for her. Temperature gauge is doing okay so far. We're coming into Simpsonville. There's lots of towns this way. I didn't go the freeway. I mean, I could, but it'd be a lot faster, but I don't want to drive 70 mile an hour with a hole in my radiator hose. It was actually, I mean, squirting out like a squirt gun. So, uh, but I've just got to go get Jimmy. I mean, more lightning. Yeah, gotta go get Jimmy so I can get a new hose tomorrow morning when the auto parts open. And when I got time to change it, I probably could have got one tonight, but I wouldn't have had the time to do it. Nor the tools. So I'll might have whoa, 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 that was a big old strike. I hope I got that on camera. intense sometimes about a, I don't know a couple miles back where I was going through some curves I put the camera down and I put it down just a few seconds too too early had a big old lightning strike out in front of me and another one off to my left I didn't hear the one out in front of me but the one off to my left was probably about a mile away I'm guessing because it was pretty close to four or five seconds and I know the speed of sound is approximately 0.21 miles per second so it was definitely a big strike I mean you could just see the flash it lit it up all around me even being a mile away I was kind of hoping to get some more but coming into Middletown here I'm coming into the city so the temperature gauge is still good so we're looking all right I've got probably close to four gallons of water in the car so everything I could carry, water, and even my canteen and my Nalgene bottles, so I don't have a whole lot of containers at the house. But I do have to start up, stop up here at Thornton's and get some beer for Jimmy after he spent two days on the bus. I told him I'd bring him some beer, and right here's Thornton's, so I'm pulling over and getting some beer. And the police are here. A couple of them. A couple, three or four. All right, we're leaving the uh, four cop cars behind. Got the beer for Jimmy when, when I pick him up. He's been on the bus for over two full days. He'll be ready for a beer, I'm sure. And I also brought some of that Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. It's made right here in Kentucky, just about 20 miles from where I live. Made over there in Frankfurt. Or at least that's where it's distributed from, I should say. So, but 
Yep, we're on the way to the Greyhound station to get Jimmy. Well, I'm in Louisville. I'm gonna be early because this bus is late, but I'd rather, you know, be there and when he gets there than have him sit around and wait on me. He's already ridden on the bus for two days, so car's still staying cool. Hope it all goes good. I knew I had a leak somewhere. Because I've had to uh two lanes to turn left onto Kentucky Line 12 South. I knew I had a leak because I was having to add some water every once in a while. But I didn't know where it was. And apparently it's getting bigger now, so I found it. Well, I gotta turn up here. Well, I'm heading toward downtown Louisville. It's rain here. It's wet. I keep seeing lightning, but no big flashes like I seen back down the road about 10 miles. Here it seems like it's more cloud covered. Oh, I was at one across the sky up there. I'm sure the camera didn't pick it up because of the street lights. Well, as you can see, I got to the Greyhound station. Waiting for Jimmy to show up. Not sure if you can see that in there, but it's raining. Not too bad yet. I am in right downtown Louisville. So, just gotta sit here and wait for a while. Wait for the bus to get here. The storm's getting pretty wild out there. Wind is picking up. The lightning's getting fierce. Oop, here comes the rain. Let's roll the windows up here in a minute. Wow, look at the sign move up there. It's like feels like there's a tornado coming. Stuff blowing across the ground. The uh, Greyhound sign up there, bending and flexing. The wind is definitely picking up. Only got about 15 minutes, and Jimmy should be here. But I might have to roll the window up. <laughs> Those keep drops keep getting bigger. Just can't believe it. I can feel it moving the car. Yeah. Yep, here comes the rain. I gotta roll the window. Well, it was raining pretty hard for a minute there. It's kind of let up a little bit now. The winds have died down. The winds were really bad. I was starting to wonder if there wasn't going to be a tornado or a downdraft or something. Jimmy's boss should be here in a couple of minutes. Uh, According to the internet, let's see if I can't find that clock. According to the internet, he should be here at 12:30. So, um, like an hour late, but not too bad considering they were over two hours late yesterday. So, just probably, probably the next bus could be this bus right here pulling in. We'll find out. There we go. I'm gonna record and see if I can't get some of this light in front of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get it. Yeah. This is crazy. She said recording. I said yeah. Now I gotta explain who Ed is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I record all the time. She said he's eating. I'm like yeah, he's recording. I told her to text. But she didn't she believe me. Go well, yeah, bro. This is Simpsonville. All right. About five miles. Man. I mean, I've been. Now that don't make no sense with him not to come to Shelbyville that far away. The Greyhound at that. Yeah. That they go right by here. They go right down 64, like I said, to Lexington. But. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, that's just. And the camera can't even focus. That's the problem. There's just so much light and light, dark, light, dark. Yeah. All right. All right. It's Thursday night. I took the night off work. I had to go get Jimmy. Jimmy's here. He's here in Kentucky. He's here in the cabin.
Yeah, the rain said, "Welcome, Jimmy." <laughs> yeah, it stormed. It's it storms. Lighten up. It lightened up out there now, but yes, I had to get Jimmy's permission to be on camera. So, <laughs> no, per no permission needed. Uh, well, yeah, I, I do for me, you know, <laughs> for my rides, but, but hey, yeah. So we're just, I mean, he's sitting here watching some of my videos with me because he don't have internet out there where he was in California, and uh, I'm hoping Jimmy's here to stay. We'll see. Big time. You'll see me later. All right, man. I just wanted to let you know that we're all here back safe and uh, going to enjoy and visit our time together, and uh, I have to go back to work tomorrow, but I don't get Sunday off, so uh, we're going to do a road trip somewhere.